this little bee shop. Yeah, been struggling to get there. This one, it's the fattest one. He's been really fighting hard. I keep moving him away. He's the pig. He's really having to fight. Look at how he pushes, pushes through. He's been keeping this up for about five minutes. Let's say he's pushed the little one away. This is the smallest one. And this big one pushed her away. And see how he's fighting to get there. He's fighting madly. He'll push it. Everyone else away. Oh, there are these are uh, about two weeks old now. These bichons, it's the bichon freeze up here. There, pedigrees. This is a very old breed of lap dog. They date back from the period of King Edward VIII. Look at them struggling there, having a fight. It was very interesting, about, uh, I don't know, it must have been about eight days, ten days old. Because these uh, um, puppies are born blind and uh, with very little fur, but after about 10, 11 days, I forget, I forget the exact date, you probably look it up, because it's probably pretty much typical, but all on the same day, their eyes popped open. It's uh, quite incredible. So we've got a, um, a litter of seven here. Eight pups were born, but one was born uh, uh, damaged and died. Um, still born, basically. Um, the rest are all perfect. Um, I think we've got six dogs and one bitch. There might be two, two bitches, but I might have um, simply um, counted the same, um, same one twice. But they're quite interesting little animals. Uh, what well, they're lovely little animals. Um, The Bichon Frise, or Bichon Tenerife as they're also called, um, uh, lovely dogs, they're very um, affectionate, uh, they basically only want to be loved and held and, and stroked and to be with you. They also like to play, they love it when you throw a bone, you know, plastic bone or a toy and uh, they challenge you for, for a game. Here's a little one. Let's see how the mother goes immediately wants to lick it if, you, if I pick it up. And the mother will immediately go and go to its rescue and uh, immediately lick it all over after someone's touched it.